And good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Welcome to Scotty Ray's Weather. It is Tuesday, January the 19th. As you're waking up this morning, 34 degrees outside. Uh, what will be weird about today, it's going to be uh, more than double the temperature. It'll be uh, 62. It'll be right at Dublin anyway. I was close. Well, 62 for high. And we're going to get warm because there's a lot of rain in the forecast. As we, I, I said the other day, boy, we've had a dry winter. That's not going to be for me. Moving forward, it'll be rain in the forecast every day. As a matter of fact, we'll go to radar in just a minute. Our friends in uh, Kipper County already getting rain this morning. Some light stuff, but uh, there is some rain falling in the area already this morning. Well, as uh, we get going, I hope your day is going well and you're up and at them and uh, ready to face another one. Let's, uh, let's get to the weather this morning and see what uh, all is going on. Your forecast is brought to you by EMEPA, your touchstone energy cooperative. As I said, uh, the day already starting to fly as you're, uh, as you're getting up in uh, Adam. As we look at, uh, let's see here, let's start with what the forecast calls for today from the National Weather Service. Partly sunny for us. And this Kipper County line, Neshoba County, is the line where they might get a little rain, in which they are already this morning. So this, uh, this line has come true. The Meridian area should just be partly sunny in 62, but north of Lauderdale at any time could get a sprinkle. So if you're in that neck of the woods, be prepared, and uh, we'll go to radar in a second and show you all that uh, is going on with that this morning. As we look at what is happening, as I said, hot. For, today, for January, 62 is warm, and it's going to at least be that throughout the week. And as we look at this trending, uh, the climate of what's going to happen here in the Deep South, it is extremely uh, warm for the next uh, week or so. We'll have <clears throat> highs in the 60 each day, so be prepared for that. As we move forward, what happened on this day? Record highs, record lows. Well, 1982, it was 82. Randy Travis uh, really hit home on that day, didn't he? Uh, as 1977 was our lowest point at four degrees. I want to say, as a kid, I remember an ice storm. Am I right? It seems like that's, that's what went on uh, back in 77. Uh, if you remember, uh, let me know. Uh, so that, uh, that's what happens with that. Let's see, as we look at our extended forecast this morning, uh, we turn back uh, to look at this. We've got 61 today, and if you look at that, 68 all the way over here uh, a week next Monday. That's warm. We've got 50s and high, high 50s and mid-60s there with rain chances every day through next Monday. Mm, that's, that's a lot of rain, so make sure to dig out those mud boots because you're going to need them if you go outside, and it'll get into that if you pull over on the side of the road for any reason. You'll be there for a little while, so... Uh, Make sure to keep it in mind. As we look at our temperatures all the way through February the 2nd, we're going to hold steady with these 50s and 60s uh, all the way. Nighttime lows right at the 40-degree mark is what we're looking at. So uh, showers and this, that, and the other start breaking up after the 26th. Not as much rain, but we've got it as far as the eye can see for at least a week, and we'll get into uh, the details on that here in just a moment and show you all about what's going on with that. Uh, all right, as we turn, uh, let's talk about our friends out at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. If you haven't been to see my friend Joe in a while, drop in. One of the nicest places you'll ever visit. And if you're looking for a great lunch, of course, they've got that. Uh, plate lunch is starting at about $3.99. Uh, meat and two vegetables. You can't beat that. Yeah. Also, if you're looking for grapes this week, they've got those for two forty nine dollars a pound. The red, white, or black. Those oranges, three-pound bag for three ninety nine. dollars You can get, of course, these grapefruits that don't taste very well, but if you're on that diet, there you go. Four ninety nine dollars for a five-pound bag of grapefruit. The celery sticks, $1.29. The easy squeeze ketchup, two for $4. See that today. Also, you can get the blue plate. $2.99 for that 30-ounce jar. You can get, let's see, your chicken noodle soup. Two for $3 at 26-ounce can. If you're looking for something great, always good to have that. Macaroni and cheese for the kids. You can get that uh, for a dollar for a box. Coffee. Yeah, who doesn't like Maxwell House? Good stuff. Two for $5. And the Dixie Crystals. Got to have that for your sugar also, don't you? You can get that four-pound bag for two twenty nine. dollars Pork chops, if you're going to be cooking any this week, $1.19. And eleven ninety nine for that ribeye steak. Brian Bologna, 12 ounce, two for $3. And as always, margarine, a great price on that at $1.99. And if you need Coca-Cola products, three for $11 for that six-pack, half-ounce uh, bottle there. Uh, you can find that all at the Piggly Wiggly of Collins. We'll drop in to see Joe, and Joe will certainly help you out and get you going and take care of anything that, uh, that you might need this morning. Uh, good morning to Tommy Ainsworth, Lee Buffington. Good morning to you as well. As we turn, let's go over here and pull radar up and take a look now at what we've got when it comes to rain. Uh, as we pull this up, this is Lauderdale County right here. 
the extreme northern portion here, see just a tad there. Let's turn on our location so we'll know a little bit more of where we're at. This is West Lauderdale High School sitting right here. Uh, this is Chet's Paint and Body as you go up here to West Lauderdale High School. There's a little bit of sprinkle between there and the Kemper County line. And, of course, over here is uh, Arkadelphia Baptist Church sitting right here. As you go into Kemper County and Klondike, on up to the coal plant, and you get over here uh, about where Damascus is, where the fire department is, light showers, a little bit there at Daleville. Heavier rain there in that central portion just west of where the Cowboy Church is all the way over to where Cleveland is at the Neshoba County line. Comes over to here, taking in downtown DeKalb, getting a few sprinkles this morning out past Kemper Lake. And then you'll go on up past Siples Mills and Wahalik there at the edge and just west of Sugarlock following Highway 45. Our friends over at uh, Louisville getting a little bit of drizzle this morning also. And it's going to be south of downtown Louisville as you look at this in between there and Noxapater getting some showers. Out to our west in Neshoba County, where the Neshoba County Coliseum sits right here, it's going to be northeast of there. And all of these areas point, uh, Spring Creek, y'all getting a little bit this morning also. Uh, west of uh, downtown where Marshall Ford sits out here at the Pearl River Resort, just a slight sprinkle, uh, nothing heavy there this morning. But that's where the rain is, and it's uh, supposed to be a line somewhere about right through here coming across uh, Kemper County, right through there uh, breaking away. This is an early morning shower, and it will break away a little bit later on and uh, bring clouds uh, to the area. Kemper County might get a sprinkle or two again before the day is out, but uh, definitely getting that today. So what does the entire forecast call for? Well, let's go take a look at what uh, the National Weather Service. Partly sunny for the Meridian area today in West Alabama. 62 here in this area here from Newton over. Tonight, we'll get a slight chance of rain between 9 and 3 a.m. Just a little bit there, about a 20% chance. We'll hit 43 for the low. That's not too bad. By tomorrow, we'll get sunshine and 60. And then that's where things will change. We'll get uh, a 30% chance of rain on Wednesday night. 46 for our low. Here comes the rain. On Thursday morning when you wake up, uh, it'll start making way for an afternoon shower of 80% chance of rain. Very gusty on Wednesday, 20 mile an hour gust. High is going to be 62 again. Uh, Thursday night, 80% chance of rain. Friday, 80% chance of rain. Friday night, a 30% chance of rain. And that will also linger into the weekend. we got rain chances on Saturday and Sunday. So it looks like it'll be wet going to church at this point. A few days out from that but it will definitely be wet. So uh, get what you got to get done in between now and Wednesday afternoon. If it's something, a project that you're working on, go ahead and get that knocked out because you'll be looking for rubber boots about uh, Thursday morning to make it through the weekend because it's going to be squishy and it'll be back to old times for winter for us. It'll be just like the good old days. <laughs> I guess that's not too funny, is it? But uh, that's what we're expecting with the weather. Again, it's going to 34 right now as you're waking up, and it that's chilly uh, without a doubt. Uh, let's go back over and pull up radar, and let me pull up uh, where the temperatures are around, uh, current temperatures, so you can kind of know where we are on everything. All right, uh, let's pull this up here. As we go to uh, Keyfield Meridian, we're sitting at 34. As we uh, walk up and we look at uh, NAS Meridian, uh, sitting at 36 right now. As we go over to Jackson, it is 41 this morning. The further north you go, 43 at Starkville. Uh, as we go into dipping into the edge of uh, Alabama, they're 31 just across the line there in Demopolis. And as we get up to Tuscaloosa, 29. So colder to the east. The further west you go, the warmer it gets. Uh, that's bringing all this rain is why it's warming up through here. But if you look at that rain pattern, uh, it goes across there. The biggest thunderstorm chances, let me turn this off. I want to say this before before we end everything this morning. Thunderstorm chances today is going to be if you've got somebody working out in the oil fields uh, anywhere from uh, just northwest of Corpus Christi, Laredo, taking in all of San Antonio, going up through Waco into Tyler, Texas, just to the west of Shreveport is where they could have some thunderstorm activity today. Nothing horrible, but uh, some thunderstorms. And as we look up West Virginia, uh, John Denver would be proud of them getting a little bit of snow today. And they're getting it from Louisville, Kentucky, all the way over. If you're making that trip, and I know many of you have, you go up and you hang that ride at Louisville and go on over, it's going to be snow the rest of the way there uh, as you go in there, all the way up to Pennsylvania. As you look out here at our west, Albuquerque, New Mexico, getting a lot of snow, all the way up uh, just south of Denver, 
in those areas this morning. So that's a, a look at the map all the way around uh, the U.S. of A. this morning as to what's happening. Us locally, uh, just expect a little bit warmer weather today. That's what we're going to have. So that gets you started. Now make sure to come back this morning around 8.30. We'll have all the latest and local news that's going on in the area to get you updated what's happening. Candace will join me. We'll go live about 8.30 to get you updated on all of that. As always, I want to say thank you for dropping by this morning and spending a few minutes with me uh, as uh, we like to get the weather going. And uh, should it ever turn bad, we'll be here to go live. Uh, as we get into these uh, spring months, uh, it'll bring back that tornado weather. So be prepared. Start thinking of all of that. Make sure that uh, you're never caught off guard when it comes to bad weather. Um, that's just the, the best, best thing to do. All that's on the way with Scotty Ray and uh, the weather here. Thank you so much for dropping by this morning. Scotty Ray's weather is brought to you by 